There's more here about the street, the street, uh, Jesus, enough already with the freaking street. The dark, dripping gardens where odors rose from the ash pits to the dark, odorous stables. Gross! Maybe this is the worm part. No, wait a minute. Here, get this. Her dress swung as she moved her body, and the soft rope of her hair tossed from side to side. All right! Woohoo! Come on, Jimmy! Now you're popping. Let's get busy. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking for the good stuff. Uh, Christ, this guy has never even spoken to her. Jimmy! The one who, who reads the phone book and killed the priest. Screw it. I'm going to skip over this crap and get to the end. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 okay. I, I lingered before her stall. What is this? Now he's into sheep? He can't talk to girls, so he's putting the moves on the livestock? Though I knew my stay was useless, to make my interest in her wares seem the more real. Oh, I guess we know what he means by her wares. All right, you better believe. Go for it, Jimbo. Now he's looking at porcelain. What? Now he's in the bathroom? Then I turned away slowly and walked down the middle of the bazaar. No, man, don't walk away. I allowed the two pennies to fall against the sixpence in my pocket. How much is a sixpence? Six cents? Two pennies and a sixpence? Eight cents? He's got eight cents? Like, what does he expect to get for that? Gum? What's the end here? I should at least finish. He's walking away. It's dark. Hell, it's been dark since you finished eating, you moron. Okay. Gazing up into the darkness... I saw myself as a creature driven and derided by vanity, and my eyes burned with anguish and anger. Like the dude is crying. What a loser. Eight cents to his name. Loser! I knew that all along, right from the very beginning, way back when the street was blind and the houses were looking at each other, before he wasted the priest. Vidork. Just looking at his picture, you know what to expect. Do yourself a favor and forget you ever heard this. This sucks. This is a story by a loser, about a loser, who reads phone books and a dead priest, and there's a chick in it, but no action, because the guy is such a loser with his eight cents, and it all comes back to me now. The stupid stories they made us read in school. Like... They were all stories about losers. Long, pointless, freaking stories about nothing. Zip. Losers. Sure, because the teachers were losers, with eight cents in their pockets. And, like, I'd sit there and grip my teeth and think to myself, when I get the hell out of here, man, I won't ever have to listen to any of this stupid, godforsaken loser crap ever again. And, like, now here I am, man, and they've got me reading it. Go figure. Like my agent said, it would make me look, you know, like intelligent. Broaden my appeal. Burnish the image. That's what he said. I'm going to burnish his ass. What a crock. My advice? Forget it. Don't be fooled. It's all a big con, man. So, like, put the books down and go see Miami Mainline. It's a kick, man. A real hoot. You'll dig it, I swear. Cars, babes, cool clothes... All kind of shit blowing up. You'll love it, man, even though there's no 50-foot worm. Hey, I told them to put one in. You think they'd listen to me? No way. I'm just the talent. But someday, man, someday soon, old Sean will be calling the shots. You mark my words. Then we'll see. Till that day, keep your nose out of these here books. Maybe check out that brandy and stay real. Peace out.